Hello everybody, in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about an issue we've had since title update 2 and honestly earlier than that, the armosphere shortage in Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Since the release of Sunbreak there has not been a single enjoyable method to actively farm out these armospheres to upgrade one set of armor. We've got the 3 minute rock lizard runs, the overpriced purchasing of spheres with our investigation coins, the optional quests that only give 1 to 2 armospheres for 2 to 4 extra minutes of running around around in a quest. Our quest rewards loot gives between 0 to 3 armor spheres for finishing a quest and of course the newest event quests can sometimes give 0 to 2 of the higher tier armor spheres per quest completion. We need a more enjoyable method to actually give us armor spheres to make these new builds and sets for the wide array of build variety the game can offer. And we of course can't forget our friends on the PS and Xbox versions that have not had the luxury of being able to stockpile thousands of armor spheres over time. So with all that out of the way, some solutions. The most plain and simple one is to give us an event quest that gives us 16 to 20 true armor spheres, those new shiny blue spheres you've been teasing us with since that random little update that gave us 10 of them a long, long time ago. And do not tie this quest to a hazard or incredibly difficult monster, as it will no longer be worth the effort compared to running the rock lizards. I would suggest something like a Rathian or if you want to keep it simple and copy Monster Hunter World, make it a Tigrex again. It's very very simple. This would allow us to fully upgrade one armor piece in a faster and more enjoyable way than doing two to three rock lizard runs and will mean we can do it in multiplayer which will also make it drastically more enjoyable. The next solution I've got for you is to double or triple the amount we get from optional quests. Same kind of deal, this would make it more efficient to do than farming rock lizards as well as a lot more enjoyable since it can be done in multiplayer and will benefit everyone if they have reassigned the optional quests. It can also be done while collecting those spirit birds that become more and more important the higher anomaly level you go up. Speaking of anomaly quests, another solution would be to make the spheres a guaranteed drop from bonuses in anomaly quests but triple the amount we get as zero to three of them per quest is extremely inefficient. The final solution is to cut the cost of the armor spheres into thirds. This will allow the players to complete a set of 10 anomaly quests at Bahari's requested level and with all of the other baseline extra spheres and coins you can get, you should be able to buy enough to finish upgrading all of your armor pieces for one set. The last one is a final ditch effort though, as I believe it will still be less efficient than farming the rock lizard runs. Ultimately, you could also give us the option to select specific armor augments on the armor pieces. This may seem crazy, but it would remove the armor sphere issue entirely, as the reason there is an issue is because myself and many other people are making multiple different builds that use the same armor pieces but we can't change the augments over otherwise it'll ruin a different build that we may likely go back to. This has been me discussing the issue with armor spheres in Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak as well as giving some solutions on how to fix them. Please be sure to share this around and like and comment as it'll help push this video through to see more people in the hopes of reaching the Monster Hunter team. As always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.